and welcome to this week's edition of DPTV News in HD, sponsored by Slimfold Golf and Country Club. Our headlines this week are Horsham GPs slated, YMCA Sleepout returns, and Mr. Lies Restaurant closes. Now, did you make a New Year's resolution this year? If you did, you might find your motivation starting to dip a little bit. Well, don't worry, Russ is here along with Slimfold, and he went down to check out the facilities. Slimfold Golf and Country Club looking fit and uh, we'll be joining him again next week, three more of those. So uh, we'll see what he gets up to then. Now, our first headline is the Horsham GP's slated report that came out uh, by the BBC last week, gave a list of all of the GPs up and down the country uh, with information on how many patients are uh, per GP, if that makes sense. Uh, now, we came in second worst. <laughs> Great. Uh, the best was Northamptonshire that came in with 1,192 people per GP. Uh, the very worst was a place called Swale in Kent, and that was 3,342 people per GP. We came in with 2,997. So there we are. Uh, we did our own non-scientific survey um, in one of the pubs in town, and uh, we found that most people were, were okay. They're quite happy with their service. Some grumbled. They couldn't get uh, an appointment on the same day. But apart from that, didn't seem too bad. We were in a pub, to be fair. Headline number two, that's right, this is the YMCA Sleep Easy Returns for 2019. Uh, this is all to do with raising money for the homeless. And uh, we did this last year. Uh, run the vid, Mike. It's all some co-working. Say hello to the camera then, Clive. Hello, Davey. No, no, I'm here, that's the camera. Hello, camera. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, there we are. So it was a bit cold. It actually snowed in the morning there as well. But if you want to get involved this year, it happens on the 22nd of March. Uh, get on the website, book your place. Bit of advice, don't sleep next to someone that snores. Headline number three, sad news, Mr. Lies closes. That's right, we put this out online uh, a few days ago. Loads of comments, lots of well wishes, and uh, some very funny comments as well. I won't say them on here, obviously. But um, we wish the family all the best for the future. So with negatives like Mr. Lies closing to positives, like little opening, let's go Little Watch. Little Watch. So, Little Watch, there we are. Promises to be open by the end of this year. Horsham Film Festival 2019. That's right, this is happening on February 21st. And as you know, we've been very uh, involved in this festival with the silver tip chats behind the camera there. Uh, so get your tickets quick, they are running out. Here's a very quick rundown of the nominations. Right, let's catch up with Muscle Man himself and get some sport from Russ. Right, cheers, Dave. Now, a couple of games there in football and one in rugby to cover for this week. Now, Horsham, 1-0 loss against Felix Sports last weekend. Now, defensive error leading to that goal in the second half. Plenty of chances did come the Hornets' way, but they just couldn't find the back of the net and get themselves onto the score sheet. Next up, though, is game against Ramsgate on Saturday. 
After just one win in the past six, YMCA finally put three points on the board with a win against Peacehaven and Telscombe. Goalless first half, but two in the second half. First one coming in 66th minute when Guy Harding, with a fantastic volley, smashed the ball into the back of the net. Second goal scored via Jack Hartley. Free kick there. First in the back of the net, three points on the board. Now YMCA third in the table, play sixth place Salt Dean on Saturday. So in the rugby, Horsham cruised to victory. 72-14 winners over Brighton seconds. Ten tries for Horsham in that game. Absolutely fantastic performance. Man of the match performance as well from new boy Matthew Pesharman. So well done there on getting that. Now, semi-final game will be against Haywards Heath. Horsham winning that trophy five years in a row now. So good luck for the lads. Hope they do it this year as well. That's all from me. See you next week. Well, that's it, sadly. That's us done for the week. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, also, thank you for all your comments and likes on our Face 8 page. Uh, some of those comments have made us giggle this week. Um, try to refrain from dodgy ones, I've got to say. Um, but uh, thanks all the same. Don't forget, we've got one week left of the QR code on Slimfold Golf and Country Club. Gets you a day visit worth 15 quid. So get your QR machine out. I don't know what it is and press a button, I guess. Uh, but thank you for joining me. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Have a lovely weekend. God bless.